Hey, it's Dorleen, and now I'm going to be flipping through signature number three. This is the second time that I've flipped through my junk journal. Um, I've done an original one, but since then I've done a lot of new pages. If you want to see my original flip through and any of my process videos from some of these pages, you can go to the playlist, a junk journal playlist that is within YouTube, or you can go down to my blog, which I'll have that address down below. And um, if you click on the junk journal or art journal playlist, uh, excuse me, <laughs> label, you can see more of those posts. All right, let's get to it. So this, like I mentioned earlier, is signature number three. I have six total. When I'm working on other projects, if I have medium left over, I will use a blank page like this and just kind of mop up it. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened here, although it does look like I scraped on some paint here. And then I just added some butterfly um, embellishments. This was from the first flip through, but I'll still go through every little thing. Um, this was a swap that I did years ago. I was all about doing swaps and it had a, um, a quote by um, Audrey Hepburn. And I know Audrey Hepburn is not Marilyn Monroe, but it's still kind of that same era. So I had this washi tape and I thought that would be super cute on there. And then my mom had gifted me a whole bunch of patterns from one of her girlfriends. So I just uh, hear them there. I thought that was really cool. And it just kind of all went with that kind of 50s, um, early 60s thing. Here's a lion that I drew on a kaleidoscope uh, preview, which is willowing.org. This was a stamped image that I had um, done, and it was just not, I kind of messed it up for a card, but I didn't want to just toss it because it still is pretty. So technically, that's still kind of a blank page. And if you've been following me, what I consider a blank page is even though there's medium on it or some kind of print it's really not finished most of my pages will have some kind of quote or some words something kind of inspirational um, a photo something this was another class um, during the willow um it's called i want to say life book or t something like that but it was a free class this one was by uh, an artist tony burke this is um might have been one on the first flip through as well and these were just some squares that I had done some mixed media art on and I just adhered them to this. Well, this looks like it was a copy of one of my art journals. So this is not complete. I need to do something with those, those squares. I know I have a process video on this one. I think it started one way and ended another. And it was a really ugly page. I still don't know if I'd love it. I feel like I'm going to do more with that. So I'm going to stop looking at it. Um, just, I think that was a process video too. This was an index card when I've done the index card of a day, the iCAD challenge. This was a tag that I made uh, mixed media. So this would probably be under my mixed media playlist and I didn't know what to do with it. So I just added it there, just fit perfectly. Again, when I just have ink and I'm not sure what I'm doing, I'll just put it on some of these pages. And this one, is, even though it's got a lot going on here, it's still, in my mind, kind of incomplete because it needs something. Like I said, either a word or a picture or something. Yeah, I'm flipping through these and I don't think I've done much since the first flip through. I'm pretty sure I did a flip through on, uh, excuse me, a process video on this one too. And these are some of the first pages I did. I actually made cards out of these. So I do that a lot where I'll, I'll, I'll do a work in my art journal or my junk journal. If I really like it, then I'll take a picture of it. And then that picture, I'll make cards with it. So these blue shapes are actually stickers that I made with some, I think it was a jelly print. So I'll do that too. I mean, you're, you're kind of making your own embellishments or your own supplies. The skeleton was part of a baby shower. Um, it was kind of a rock and roll theme. And so I grabbed a couple, kind of made her into a sugar skull, added some stamp flowers. I really love that. Here, I just kind of doodle all over the face. Yeah, these are definitely from the first flip through. My kids years ago, I don't even know what year that is. This is another one that I made um, into cards. Those were fun. I just took some scrap papers and, and cut um, like little, uh, I call them parentheses or commas. And then I worked them up to where it looked like a rose. I might do something like that again. Those are, that's a great way to use up paper scraps if you are a like a scrapbooker or something like I am too. 
It doesn't have anything going on here. I added some quotes there. That needs to be done. I painted that during a uh, paint night. Yeah, that's it for the third signature. And you know, as I said, going through it, I think a lot of these were already in or completed. So I don't know how many of these were actually new. So with that being said, maybe I need to just start working on something like this one. I just, there's something about it. I just, ugh, I don't like it. So I guess I, I lied to you. I'm going to actually do a little bit of a process video. So I love these butterflies. Those are super cute. And I think I remember I was going through things and I just had a bunch of stuff and had them for years. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to use it or lose it. So I'm just going to add some dots. And we just need to play. Um, I've been doing a lot of things with my left hand um which you know on purpose <laughs> because um after my surgery and even still you could tell I'm not really even using my pinky Ugh, it hurts I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things that bug me all the time now like but anyhow um my granddaughter you know always wants me to color and you don't realize how much you can use your non-dominant hand until somebody says, you know, grandma color with me. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Well, I guess I have a choice, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna grab some of this white acrylic paint. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I think 90% of the time when I'm working in my junk journal, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's kind of fun when it's all done, when you look at it and it ends up being something you like. And even if it's not like this one, I mean, I don't know how long ago I did this one. I, I think it's been a while. So sometimes I think these journals can really be something that are never finished. That is one thing I like to do is when you have so much color on a page, you know, adding white, whether it's uh, acrylic paint or uh, gesso, it really kind of softens or, or softens and blends and kind of coordinates everything. could still keep the insides of these very dark or whatever the background was. I need to smudge that a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? Did that make any difference? I think it did. So not only was this a flip through, it was a, a little bit of a process video. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified of any new videos. I have made a goal in 2020 to post at least two videos a week where prior I was doing one. And at least one of those videos will be scrapbooking. If you're into scrapbooking, I'm sure that's exciting to you. If you're not, I apologize. But um, that is really kind of my first uh, artistic or creative outlet is scrapbooking. And then 
it just kind of developed into card making and then mixed media and just um, art journaling. My blog name is Crafts in the Command Center and that is the name of my craft room, the Command Center. So what my YouTube videos are crafts that I'm creating in the Command Center. So in case you were curious about that, that is the reason for that. I think I'm going to put some kind of dot like splatter. There we go. <laughs> That's it. I hope you like it. And don't forget, this was signature number three. I have three more to go. I have a total of six. Stick around for those. Second look on my junk journal flips. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.